not too shabby guys let's put it all back together okay this has been curing for quite some time today's thursday Corolla Matsuri is Saturday, so I gotta put this thing back together. Okay, well, let's unwrap this like a Christmas present. Dang! Uh oh. Paint started peeling off right here. Got stuck to the masking tape. Can't really tell, but you can tell. Let's throw an orange peel also. Okay. Anyways, looks like a car. Okay, I'm only gonna put on things that are absolutely necessary for the car. Like, we have to have door hinges. And we have to have the door striker. This little plastic piece we could put on later. I rinse these in the parts washer, then with water. Then I'm gonna dry them and spray them. Okay, primer these black, one side gloss other side gloss. This one's marked with an L. On the other side, it's an R. So the driver's side's an L and the passenger side's an R. And while these dry, we can put on the tail lights. Just gonna put on the old tail lights for now because the new ones I have to modify. can't put a car back together if you keep taking it apart. Decided to paint this piece just cause it's gross. Okay, these are almost dry and I have the bolts here. They're kind of rusty. I'm just gonna run them through the wire wheel. Yeah, they're dry to touch. Let's rock them. This flat one goes on top. This one with the little indentation goes on the bottom. I only know because I have an extra door. Outline there, kinda. Just gonna line it up. The plan is to lift this up, latch it in, and then align the hinge. This one's heavy because it has the glass and assembly. When I open this door, it's gonna sag. We're gonna lift this up and we can see the striker. I'm gonna go for like around there. Dangus. Dangus, I'm not sure what dangus means. Dangus means. Okay, as you can tell, Lots of adjustment. I wasn't sure of the body gap. Luckily, I have another car. That's a little too close for comfort. I need to pry this back. Much better. Had some tape here. Kind of loosen the front hinges. Pried this, closed it, and then tightened it. Opened the door, jacked it up, loosened only the top one, and now, This is where we're at. Okay, I was trying to make this latch work, but it doesn't. So I gotta seal it from this door. Let's latch it. Okay, it's locked. Unlock. While I was taking off the side window, I thought to myself, why don't I just see how it looks with the fender on? The 
door being misaligned is affecting the window. So I should fix the door first before the window. Figure the door and window is good enough. Right now what I need to do is clean the engine bay. Okay, let's get a little before action. Let's get these fenders on. I have new fender mirrors somewhere. I'm not gonna drill into these yet. We'll start on this side as I'm happy with the door alignment. Obviously something's not right here. I got a pretty decent gap here. And it's pushed over all the way. So maybe the door's jacked. Maybe I can space out that hinge. Okay, took it off and adjusted it. Looks okay from here, but it's not too great from here. I don't even know what's going on here. Okay, let's take it off and pull the hinge back. And what's up with these gaps? I've been adjusting and adjusting and nothing is working. Okay, looks like the door hinge is messed up or something. Or even the doors, because the gap here and the gap here with the holes line up. Anyways, it's starting to look like a car. Okay, just started screwing it in with this longer bolt, then I could get the normal bolt in. Let me show you something. What do you guys think? Good? Good enough? I'm just happy the hood closes. Okay, gonna end it here. Still need to get the bumpers on, but whatever, that's boring. Hey, let's admire this paint job before I ruin it. Not too shabby. Not too shabby, guys. No! No! He's gonna be having another 20 hours on this thing.